Saying these two magical phrases makes men miss you. Ever wondered how to make a man miss you and keep you on his mind even after you've left? Imagine having the right words that can make him think about you long after you've gone. It's all about striking the perfect balance between showing you care and creating a little emotional space. In this video, I'll reveal the first of two powerful phrases that can make men miss you deeply and create a lasting impression. Stick around to discover this impactful phrase and make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more relationship tips and insights. Creating a sense of longing in a relationship is key to maintaining interest and deepening the emotional bond. It's not about playing games, but rather about expressing yourself in a way that fosters genuine connection and anticipation. When a man misses you, it's a sign that your presence is valued and that there's a meaningful connection between you. Certain phrases have the power to trigger these emotions and make him think about you more frequently. They tap into the psychological dynamics of desire and appreciation, enhancing the quality of your interactions. By using the right words, you can create a sense of longing that makes him eagerly anticipate your next encounter. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly which powerful phrase can make a man miss you and why it works. Plus, stay tuned until the end to discover the second phrase that can also have a profound impact on your relationship. Phrase 1. I had a great time, but I'm looking forward to my own time. The first phrase is, I had a great time, but I'm looking forward to my own time. This phrase is perfect for after an enjoyable experience together, such as a fun date or a meaningful conversation. It's a way to express that you value the time spent with him, while also indicating that you need some time for yourself. This phrase works because it strikes a balance between expressing appreciation and maintaining your own independence. By acknowledging that you had a great time, you reinforce the positive aspects of your interaction and make him feel good about the time you spent together. At the same time, mentioning that you're looking forward to your own time signals that you have a fulfilling life outside of the relationship. This balance helps to create a sense of emotional space that makes him miss you more as he begins to appreciate both the connection and the absence. Psychological Impact The psychological impact of this phrase is significant. It introduces a slight emotional distance that makes the time you've spent together feel even more valuable. When you express that you're looking forward to personal time, it creates a sense of longing and anticipation. He'll start to think about you more often, reflecting on the enjoyable moments you shared and looking forward to future interactions. This sense of absence enhances his appreciation of your presence and makes him more eager to spend time with you again. By using this phrase thoughtfully, you can effectively increase his desire and make a lasting impression. How to deliver the first phrase. Tone and timing. Delivering the phrase, I had a great time, but I'm looking forward to my own time, with the right tone and timing is essential to its effectiveness. Your tone should be genuine and warm, reflecting sincere appreciation for the time spent together while gently introducing the need for personal space. For example, a soft yet enthusiastic tone can convey both your enjoyment and your need for solitude without seeming abrupt or dismissive. This approach ensures that the phrase comes across as heartfelt rather than mechanical. Situational Examples Using this phrase effectively depends on the context in which you deliver it. After a meaningful conversation, such as a deep discussion about personal goals or feelings, you might say, I really enjoyed our talk tonight. It's always so enriching to connect with you. Now, I'm looking forward to a quiet evening to myself to reflect. This usage shows that you value the conversation, but also need time to process your thoughts independently. During a casual moment, like after a fun day out, you could say, today was a blast. I'm looking forward to a little downtime now, but I can't wait to hook up again soon. This conveys that you had a good time while simultaneously emphasizing your desire for personal space to recharge. While this phrase is effective, using it too frequently can undermine its impact and potentially make you seem evasive or manipulative. To maintain its effectiveness, reserve this phrase for moments when it generally reflects your feelings. Overusing it might lead to misunderstandings or come across as a tactic to create distance artificially. It's important to strike a balance and ensure that the phrase is used in a way 
that feels natural and authentic within the context of your relationship. Now that we've covered how the phrase, I had a great time, but I'm looking forward to my own time can create a sense of longing and make a man miss you, let's shift gears. The second phrase we'll discuss is equally powerful and complements the first one beautifully. It not only builds on the emotional connection, but also enhances the anticipation for future interactions. Phrase two, I can't wait to share more moments like this. This phrase is ideal for use after a particularly enjoyable or meaningful interaction. It's a way to express your enthusiasm for future experiences together, reinforcing the positive emotions you've shared and building anticipation for what's to come. This phrase works by tapping into the natural desire for continued connection and shared experiences. When you say, I can't wait to share moments like this, you're highlighting the enjoyable time you had and expressing eagerness for future interactions. This builds a sense of anticipation and excitement as he begins to look forward to creating more memorable experiences with you. It reinforces the emotional connection by showing that you value the time spent together and are excited about continuing the journey. Psychological Impact The psychological impact of this phrase is significant. It keeps him thinking about the positive experiences you've shared and builds anticipation for future moments. By expressing your eagerness to continue sharing special times, you make the relationship feel more dynamic and engaging. This excitement can lead him to miss you more as he starts to anticipate and look forward to your next interaction. The phrase not only strengthens the emotional bond, but also keeps the relationship lively and forward-looking. How to deliver the second phrase. Tone and timing. To deliver the phrase, I can't wait to share moments like this effectively, use a genuine, warm and enthusiastic tone as the previous one. Your delivery should reflect your sincere excitement and appreciation for the time spent together. Complement with actions. To make the phrases even more effective, pair them with actions that reflect confidence and self-sufficiency. For example, after using one of the phrases, continue to engage in your own hobbies and interests. This demonstrates that you have a fulfilling life outside the relationship and reinforces the authenticity of your words. Your action should show that you're content and confident on your own, making your presence even more desirable when you do spend time together. Maintain personal boundaries. It's crucial to maintain personal boundaries to ensure that the phrases feel genuine. Having your own space and pursuing your interests not only makes the phrases more authentic, but also highlights your independence. This approach helps create a healthy dynamic where your time together is valued and anticipated rather than taken for granted. By maintaining these boundaries, you reinforce the importance of personal time, making your interactions more meaningful. Understanding his response. Pay attention to how he responds to these phrases. If he seems more attentive and engaged, it's a positive sign that he values the emotional connection and is excited about future interactions. On the other hand, if his response seems distant or indifferent, it might indicate that he needs more time to understand his own feelings or the relationship's direction. Use his reactions as a gauge to adjust your approach and ensure that both of you are on the same page. Thank you for watching. I hope these phrases help you create deeper connections and make a lasting impact in your relationships. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe for more tips and insights on building meaningful connections. See you in the next video.